This is day two of Boom Beach. If you watched the last episode, you're going to see my base have changed a little bit. I continued playing overnight just to get a little further in the game to continue with the videos. As you can see, I added a mortar defense and I added another sniper tower. I also have my headquarters now at level 3. And my radar tower is now level 2. I built a wood storage. And I've built a vault. Which the vault will store both wood and gold. And since last time I've upgraded my gunboat to level 3 and I'm in the process of upgrading my landing craft to level 3 also. In the process of doing the headquarters to level 3 I've gotten the option to have this new army guy which is called Heavy which he's got a thousand health and his unit size is four his training cost is 300 and basically he can absorb a lot of damage and keep on moving forward and he's happy to draw attention and be the person that's beginning it getting attacked and now if you look at my map now as you start getting further in the game you'll start to lose your villages as you can see here, I captured everything in this map, but now they're starting to attack back and take over my villages again. So let's do another. Let's do an attack. And now you can see the only thing difference between what I showed you yesterday and today is now that you level up to your headquarters level two, you now get a flare option in which you can control where your troops want to go. So I'm going to deploy my army guys and then my my tank dude. And then I'm going to attack the sniper towers. And then if you haven't noticed in this game, what I'm going to do now is instead of attacking all the supplies, I am just going to have them go for the he headquarters. I can do this because when you kill the headquarters in this game, you destroy the whole base, as you can see, after this battle happens. And there you go. It's slowly destroying everything. So, in this game, you could go right for the headquarters and kill their whole base. So as I was saying, you're referring to before, if you wanted to have stronger bombs, you just upgrade your gunboat. So now that I had two casualties, let me reinforce that boat. That's going to take two minutes. Okay, now that all my troops are ready to battle, I am going to press the compass button and it'll attack. And it looks like I have another village that was captured again. So again, you have two options. You could scout or attack. I'm just going to attack. And it looks like this base has a pretty good mortar round and some supplies. It doesn't have a sniper. So I'm going to basically bring in my armory attack dude. And this is the tank. And then I'm going to send in my armory guys. I'm going to send the flare onto the defense or archery and then I'm going to attack with my bombs on it and as you can see that uh, guy was a lot stronger than I thought it would be and I actually lost so let's go back to my base and I'm going to rebuild okay, now that we're back and then you could see my guys are built, and when we were gone, I decided to upgrade the sawmill so I can get more wood production because it seemed like I was 
lagging in the wood production, but I had a plenty of gold. So let's go for an attack. And let's try this direct fire guy again. This is the one I just lost against. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to use my bombs right off bat. And I have killed it with my bombs. And then I'm just going to go in and destroy everything. As you can see, this was a level that I lost earlier that I tried to kill the archery or the mortar round with my guys and it just wasn't going to work. So I decided to just destroy it with my bombs, which you can do and, you know, it's, it's just in some situations in the game you won't be able to do that because you won't have enough bombs, but in this case I was able to. So as we wait, and as I said before, if you kill the headquarters, you will kill the whole base. And... I've now taken this base back, and I haven't lost anybody. Okay. So let me let's let's go to the more expensive route, twenty two hundred, and explore. Okay. So let's ex scout this base and see what it looks like. So it now looks like I have caught someone that's got a pretty decent base. They have two sniper rounds and a mortar round. And I don't think I will be able to attack them with what I have. So I'm going to go back. But as it looks like right now, as soon as you get to Radar 2... As I can show you over here, you start you start getting other people on your bases for you to attack. So let's go back to attack menu and let me let's go this route. I just have some computer I can attack. And you can see the difference between the computers by you can see the levels there, but like level six, primary target. But then if I go over to the person, it will have, have like a little you know icon seven and it looks like a person there. For right now I'm just gonna stay away from the person and go for these villages. And let me attack the primary target there. So it looks like here if I look, they have two machine guns with mines in the middle. And they have their other archery on the inside. So I'm going to attack and put my tank dude over here and then put my guys behind it. And I'm going to try to see if I can kill that with all my dudes. I just sent in one bomb and then hopefully that will be killed. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them that way around and then to my mortar rounds and then I'm going to send my bombs into that what I did there was I had to get them around the the mine with my flares otherwise they would have gone right through the mines and they would have all died and then again all you have to do is kill the headquarters and you win and that was a pretty easy battle so as you can see this gameplay is I would say a lot better than Clash vs Clans because it's a it's, you have your little bigger island it's different, you have more options, you have this little beach to deploy every in the area, and what majorly makes the strategy different is you can control where your guys are going with the flare, which is a lot different from Clash and Clan Clash of Clans. So I am going to do another video tomorrow and show you my base and show you some attacks and Press the like button below if you enjoy these videos or if you have any questions and if you have any comments on how you're playing the game and how you're building your base, let me know and thanks again for watching.